Now to a developing story just days after six people were shot and killed at a Nashville school. Parents in Montgomery County received an alarming notification. A student at Grand Oaks High School was reported to have a gun on campus. KPRC 2 Sabira Rayford live outside the school with some new information about that student involved. Sabira. Lisa, Andy, a Montgomery County prosecutor familiar with the case, confirming to me that the student involved with bringing a gun to this campus is under the age of 16. Now I want to show you parents showed here, showed up here anxious, flocked to this campus, and cars were wrapped around this block. As flags fly at half staff for the six lives taken at a school shooting in Nashville. It's been like an hour and a half. Parents of students at Grand Oaks High School aren't taking any chances. Of course, it's a tension moment. After this letter was sent from the school, telling parents they received an anonymous alert around 920 this morning about a student with a gun. It states Conroe ISD police immediately responded, locating the student with a the pistol. They were taken into custody. I would say that I was very nervous. Uh, the whole time. After rumors circulated about more students being involved, this was the result. I don't know what's going on. A district spokesperson sent us a statement saying they had no reason to believe any other students had a gun on campus. Still, many parents and students deciding to end the school day early. It just feels scary. As for the student who brought the gun on campus, the Montgomery County Attorney's Office confirmed it's a student under the age of 16. A prosecutor familiar with the case telling me the student could face a weapon in a prohibited place charge, which is a third degree felony or threatening to use a firearm on public school grounds, which could be bumped to aggravated assault, all depending on the facts of the case. I can't believe this is still happening. The prosecutor telling me that a lot of factors goes into charging a juvenile, including their history and what their history involves and what factors are involved in the case. As for as for as for last check, district police are still investigating this situation. Reporting live on Montgomery County, Sabir Rayford, KPRC 2 News. It is a story we will be following, Sabira. Thank you.